Hey it's Rixie. So by the title you already know what's up. I thought. You know since it's Halloween. And Halloween is about things scary. Why not say some god awful opinions. I know. Very spooky. Anywho. I just wanna say. This isn't a hate video or anything of that matter. This video is purely entertainment. We all have some opinions that aren't the nicest. So please don't kill me in the comments. But then again. Y'all know me and I'm like the sweetest person ever. Okay probably not. But my opinions might not even be that offensive. So if so. I'm sorry. Just roast me in the comments of how nice I am. Okay enough with the rambling. Jisoo is not a visual. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Irene intimidates me. So I know this seems like bad timing. With her whole controversy. And stuff. Well I'm not saying this to make the situation worse. This has been my opinion for a very long time now and I wanted to add it in. Basically why I say this. I'm kinda talking about Irene's vibe and face. Irene is obviously beautiful and stunning. But her face gives me royal vibes like she's a queen. But a powerful queen that could just hurt me with her stare. I don't know to be honest. But her vibe. When she's uncomfortable can sometimes come off weird. But then again she is uncomfortable. Overall this opinion isn't necessarily bad in my eyes. She just looks like a strong confident woman. With evil side too. Big groups have mediocre idols. So what I mean by this opinion. I mean companies get lazy with their trainees. So they throw them into a big group. Because basically. They lost all hope. I've only noticed this in Luna and Eyes 1. This has nothing to do with some of the idols. But more the company. I find it rude that a company will put someone that clearly isn't ready for this toxic industry. Just because they gave up on training them. It's obvious at this point. I mean a group that comes from a show that's supposed to be the best of the best has idols no one has even heard of. It just makes sense why the same member that doesn't get screen time or lines or promotions. I mean if someone wanted to be someone in the entertainment industry. And worked at your company to be this successful artist. The company needs to provide and do their job on making successful artist. Not just some here and there. But the rest mediocre or average. Not in an industry full of diamonds. I'm sorry. But I don't want to stand back up dancers. Or blank and friends. It's lazy and rude. And it impacts the idol. I personally know how it feels to be in a group of people that was better than me. Some of these idols aren't ready. But now you just ruined their whole career even before it started. NCT 2018 is way better than NCT 2020. This opinion is very harmless. But I wanted to add it in. Because some might very much disagree with me. When I say this. I'm not talking about the music. I'm more talking about the environment and the overall. NCT 2018 honestly felt more welcoming. I think because it happened in the beginning of the year. Also it felt like the members friendships felt more happier and real. But now I personally find NCT and the members kinda awkward. I feel like some friendships have been distant and NCT 2020 kind of bored me. I had no desire to care sadly. I'm not sure why. I love NCT so much so this hurts. GOT7's music sucks. Yes I know that was harsh. But hear me out. First I wanna say GOT7 does make bops. Just not every comeback is a bop though. Basically my point is. GOT7's music is not the best within the industry. Their music is either boring, forgettable or annoying. I'm not coming for the members of GOT7, but the producers that make their music. I don't know, but JYP has done GOT7 very dirty. And honey it's showing. Red Velvet is boring. Okay another one of those hear me out. So I love Red Velvet, obviously. But I will say I don't necessarily stand Red Velvet. Because it's hard for me to get into them as a group. Y'all know I'm a hardcore blink. And I'm a blink. Because the group is interesting and I feel like I can connect with the members. Red Velvet is the opposite of that. I've always had this opinion. I just never really spoke of it. And I'm not hating on Red Velvet. I'm just saying that I feel like they as a group lack friendship. Obviously they are friends. But in ways they seem awkward around each other like on stage. Honestly I think SM wanted them to be professional at all time. So that could explain why. Also because of this. Their stage presence seems to lack something so therefore it comes off as boring. Why is Eyes 1 Hey 1 an idol? 
So this has been my opinion from the very start. This kinda goes back to the big groups have mediocre idols. First I wanna say I'm not hating on Hey One. I'm just wondering about some things. I wanna know why she is an idol. I'm sorry to say, but she lacks stage presence, facial expression and honestly she's not entertaining whatsoever. Y'all know I don't stand eyes one. So obviously I don't know her personality, nor do I know her that well when it comes to her talents. But I do know, she's just another pretty face. I mean answer this. Has anyone ever talked about her? Not including the fandom. Oh right there's nothing to talk about. I'm just curious why people are in the entertainment industry. But aren't entertaining. I blame Produce48. I mean she's in a super group. With the best of the best. But I learned her name today. Jenny's solo should have never happened. Some of y'all are like. That was so long time ago. And yes. But Rose still hasn't got hers. I feel like we are getting played at this point. Jenny's solo should have been a Blackpink comeback. It should have been the comeback with a full album. With solo tracks on it. Jenny's solo cost so much with the different outfits and especially the location and production. That easily could have been a Blackpink comeback. This opinion isn't hating on Jenny and I still love solo. It just seems so pointless considering the other members haven't even had their solos yet and it's basically two years. I hate songs with a storyline. I noticed a lot of artists like songs with a storyline. And it tells the story of them. Etc. Honestly I really don't care about storylines. And I find it in ways extra. I just wanna listen to some good music. Music is music. I didn't ask for a whole novel. Twice doesn't make bops anymore. Okay hold on. Twice is the queens of making bops. Obviously. What I mean. Twice has changed. And it shows in their music. Personally for me. After Fancy. Twice hasn't really had a song that hit so hard. Like their past releases. It could be because they are getting older and becoming more mature. I don't know. But I will say. I can't stop me as a whole living and breathing bop. So yeah. BTS and Blackpink are on top because of their fame not their music anymore. So what I mean by this. Popular groups like BTS and Blackpink. Regardless of anything they do, it will always be on top and with high numbers. I'm not saying that BTS or Blackpink don't deserve their spotlight. Because both groups do. I'm saying, their fame has gotten to the point where they will always be up there. Even if a song or comeback shouldn't be. If you look at Blackpink at music shows, they have won so many times. It doesn't faze them anymore. And honestly this is sad. Because groups that have a comeback around the same time as BTS or Blackpink, have no shot at winning, just because it's BTS or Blackpink. Cherung saying it's Ian not shy is annoying, so I know this was a whole moment, and I liked it too, but now that it's been some months, I don't anymore. I find that part kinda annoying and too loud, even now when not shy comes up on my playlist, I skip it. Honestly I think I kinda fell out of loving this song, so yeah. Felix is talking not rapping, so I know I'm probably going to get hate for this, but let me explain. Felix has a deep voice, and that's what makes him special, but when he raps he's talking in his deep voice, not rapping. If you compare him to Han or Changbin, there is a clear difference. Now this doesn't mean anything bad, and this opinion is harmless, but I just wanted to say this, because some really disagree with me, so yeah. Stop with this mob mentality it's annoying and you're problematic. I hate stan twitter. But after this damn I hate it with a passion. After the thing with blackpink's pretty savage dance. And how so many people told someone to go kill himself. Is not acceptable and needs to stop. Your faves don't need a superhero at the rescue all the time. If you feel the need to bring someone down over something like a dance is ridiculous. And your mum should be ashamed. What the hell are you thinking? Stop being entitled and stop being problematic. Take a seat. Okay well I'm done. I hope y'all have a wonderful Halloween. And thank you for watching. I honestly didn't want to make anyone mad. So I tried my best to be as nice as I could. Anywho. Love y'all. Tootles. <laughs>
you not gonna say we know not to lie Just playing for me, she won't like any water Yeah You told me you got him He don't more to you then and he don't more to hollow If I'm a child of the she and all the guys all the girl with paper put the shit on the bone and the next door And that's a long ass ride Don't you know she feel the key to go and no one got you Cause she gon' say it